And that's fun to shoot. Hey guys, this is Dave from Mills Fleet Farm and Team Hold Your Arms. Just got done shooting some rounds through our 545 upper, and we've been getting a lot of questions about my field cleaning procedure. So now that we put a few rounds through it, I'm gonna show you how it's done. Like I said, we get a lot of emails, Facebook inquiries, YouTube posts, messages, whatever, on how I clean the 545 in the field. A lot of people are concerned about corrosion, especially when they're shooting Russian surplus ammo, which does have that potentially corrosive primer. And I do agree, it's very important to perform some sort of cleaning procedure, preventative maintenance at the range. I tell people my theory on it, what I do, and a lot of times they don't believe me on how quick it takes. I have people say, I take an hour, I take this long, I take this long. And to be honest guys, it takes me just a few minutes in the field and it's super easy, really quick to do, very fast. So first thing before we get to cleaning our gun, safety is absolute number one. We wanna make sure that our workspace is absolutely clear of any ammunition and any ammunition feeding devices. I have no rounds, I have no magazines anywhere near my workspace. Next, we wanna verify that we have an unloaded rifle. Nothing in the magwell, nothing in the loading area or chamber. I'm gonna check again, nothing in the magwell, loading area or chamber. So we have a clear rifle. To make things a little easier, don't be afraid to let this sit for a couple minutes, especially if you just got done shooting and you want it to cool down, because some of the components might be warm from firing. So to make this simpler, I'm just gonna quick separate the upper from the lower, and then we can concentrate on cleaning the upper receiver of the 545. First, what I carry in my range bag is I carry a couple old rags. These are just basically cut up old t-shirts. A couple of toothbrushes. This particular one I like because it has a long handle on it and a couple different size brushes. I actually picked this up at Fleet Farm in the vet animal area. It's just a dog toothbrush. A boar snake for the 545, a 22 caliber center fire rifle works just fine. And I can use this then with my standard ARs as well. And then we really love the products from Slip 2000. So I really recommend their Extreme Weapons Lube. We use a ton of this stuff. This is my preferred lube of choice. It has an incredibly wide operating temperature range from extreme cold to extreme heat. And in Minnesota, we face all different types of temperature ranges, so this stuff really works well. This is, uh, my opinion, the best gun lube on the market. I use their bore cleaner as well, their carbon cleaner, bore cleaner. This works great on direct impingement rifles, piston guns, whatever. This is a really, really great cleaning product. And then I also use their 725 cleaner degreaser. Now I buy it in bulk, I buy the big jug of it, and then I put it in these small little spray bottles or old oil bottle that I clean out. So with this one, I can you know, apply drips, and with this one, I can just spray. So a couple different options there, and you can see me use both and how I use them, but that Slip 2000 725 cleaner degreaser absolutely works amazing. It's a water-based cleaner degreaser, so it works really good on dissolving the salts from those primers and that Russian surplus ammo, it works awesome. And that's, I think, part of what makes this, my process work so well is this Slip 2000 725. One last thing I keep in my range bag, especially for field cleaning, is just some disposable gloves. And I know some of you guys uh, will probably make fun of me, calling me a sissy or whatever, but when it comes to lead exposure, you really can't be too careful. These are cheap, disposable, they really offer great protection, they keep your hands clean, especially if you have little ones at home. I don't know about you, but the last thing I wanna do when I go home and give my little daughter a hug, I don't wanna transfer any lead or uh, poisons or anything like that to her. So I just quick throw on a pair of gloves. When I'm done cleaning, I take them off and then I have some uh, citrus wipes in my truck as well. Again, can't be too careful when it comes to lead safety. So first things first, what we're gonna do is just do a quick field disassembly of your upper. Going to take out bolt carrier group. We'll take this apart in a second. Charging handle. Piston components. And then we have our upper. To take apart the bolt carrier group, we're going to take out the firing pin, retaining pin. Out comes the firing pin, the cam pin, in which case I have a POF roller cam pin installed, the bolt spring and then we have the carrier. So now we're field stripped. We have our upper piston parts, bolt carrier group, charging handle, all the parts right here. So what I like to do now is I'm going to get my stopwatch out because a lot of people don't believe me on how long this actually takes. And I'm going to do my best to get this done in one take so you can actually see in real time how long it takes me to go through my, my field cleaning procedure after I have it all field stripped here, okay? And I'll talk about it as I go. So first things first, let's start the stopwatch. What I like to do is take some Slip 2000 725 and spray it in the upper 
And all we're trying to do again is dissolve those salts. So then I'll take some, spray it down the bore until we start to get it to drip down the bore. Again, we're just breaking up those salts. And then I'll take some, spray it in the gas block. You can also pop off the bottom handguard and spray some there because that is an exhaust area. Once we have that sprayed, I take one of my rags and I simply wipe everything down. If you need a little more, don't be afraid to spray. And this is why I like having the spray bottle. And we can just wipe everything out. If you need to, you can put your rag down there with a toothbrush. Use the toothbrush to push down. If you want, you can carry some small, these are like shotgun size patches. You can carry these in your bag as well as little rags. They work just fine. Take your boar snake. And if you want, you can use the chambermaids. You can use the different uh, star brushes, all sorts of stuff. Just run the boar snake through a few times. Then what I like to do is take some of the boar cleaner. And this is a new bottle off the shelf. Hope you guys will allow me a time penalty to take the seal off. I'll just put some bore cleaner on the bore snake. A little more. And I've done this in the back of my truck. Um, I've done this on range tables. I've done this even holding it. You know, it just depends on what kind of facility you have. Or snake through. Again, new bottle off the shelf, guys. Had to make it look somewhat pretty for you. Then I'll just take the tail and lube that up with some Slip 2000. So we're basically just putting a small thin layer of lube down the bore. And I'm getting a knot coming up on four minutes. Pull that through, bore is good to go. Take your bolt carrier group, spray. Uh, not sure where you guys can see this on camera. Toothbrush. Wipe this down. Wipe out the inside. The toothbrush fits just fine inside. Take your rag, wipe it down. Get that in there if you want. Again, a patch on a toothbrush. Works just fine to get that. Wipe your charging handle down. This doesn't get too bad. Bolt, spray, spray, spray. Toothbrush. A 
We're just over five minutes. Wipe your firing pin, cam pin, spray the piston components, wipe them down. If you want, you can take the bushing and spring off. Gas plug, wipe that down. Got some overspray on the carrier. Wipe down the rest of your parts here. And that's it, guys. That is my field cleaning procedure. All I do is I use the 725 to clean, wipe everything down. The only thing that's left is then just re-lube and put it all back together. So we're at, it was just under six minutes. And I had to talk through it, as well as open up some seals. So like I said, right around five minutes isn't unrealistic. It's really not that difficult to just do a basic cleaning. And all we're looking to do is prevent corrosion and rust. We're looking to basically disable those corrosive salts from the primers. Doesn't have to be a super detailed clean. Doesn't, obviously, um, we don't, aren't getting all the fouling and carbon, etc. out of the bore, but all we're doing is breaking up the corrosive properties. So now all that's left is basically relube and put it back together. So we'll speed up this when I put it back together just because we've uh, already have videos that cover this. So I'm just gonna put the bolt carry group back together. We'll speed through this here quick. So we have our bolt carrier group back together. Our piston components are back together, our charging handle. Then what I like to do, <clears throat> just take a rag, take some slip, extreme weapons lube, put it on set a rag. Healthy amounts, fine. Dampen it up a little bit. Go ahead and wipe some around the bore. The exhaust area is here. All we're doing is looking to, again, protect the metal. If you want to pop the top handguard off as well, you certainly can do that. Some optics may prevent that. Wipe down the gas block. Exterior surfaces of the upper. Interior surfaces of the upper. That's that. Next, we're just gonna grab our piston components and we're just gonna take that same oily rag, put a little bit of slip and wipe these down. Again, we're not necessarily looking to lubricate these. They don't necessarily uh, need that lubrication to function. We're just looking to protect the metal. So just some corrosion protectant, metal sealant, that type of a thing, put it back together. And then the bolt carrier group will need lubrication. This is a high friction part as the charging handle is. So we wanna make sure we lubricate these really well. So what I like to do is I'll grab my oil, lubricate the charging handle, smear it all on there. You want a good healthy coat. This should have a nice shine to it or a, a glaze, almost like a fresh glazed donut. How is that for the fat guy making a donut joke? Next, we'll take our bolt carrier group. This does need to be lubricated. And what I like to do for that is each one of the bolt lugs gets a very small drop of lubrication. And if you have a needle oiler or something like that, those work great. And I usually keep uh, my oil in there. Then we also want to get the shaft of the bolt. And then go ahead and press it in a few times to work that oil up and down the bolt. Want to make sure we lubricate the cam pin. That's a pivot area. And again, you can go ahead and press the bolt. Make sure that cam pin works back and forth. We want to lubricate all the bearing surfaces of the carrier. And these are the surfaces that actually engage with the upper receiver. And then I take a good size drop and I just smear it around the rest of the carrier. Again, this helps protect the metal, helps cleaning easier, and it also lubricates this as it is a high friction part. So you can see there's a healthy amount of lube on here. When in doubt, don't be afraid to use lubrication. I get a lot of guys that use thin water, watery lubes like some of the other brands that are out there. They don't work as well for ARs. You really wanna stick with a good quality gun oil like the Slip Extreme Weapons Lube. Again, I can't say enough good things about this stuff. It just works so well. And again, a good healthy amount. You know, don't be afraid to put, if you think you have a dry spot, a drop here, drop there, or whatever. No problems whatsoever. We'll put the bolt carrier group back into the upper in the track of the charging handle. Lock that in place. You can go ahead then and put your hand guard back in. Lock that in place. We'll put a little lube 
on the gas plug lug. Again, we're not necessarily looking to lube these parts because this is a high heat area. This could burn off uh, easier than some of the other parts. We'll line this back up. Make sure you have your delta ring lined up as well because sometimes when you take the hand guard off, the spring in there will want to rotate. Lock that in place. Take your, take your rags, go ahead and wipe everything else off. That's it, you're ready to rock and roll. After you have it wiped down, you're set to go. I can throw this in my range bag, uh, take it home, throw it back in the safe, and I'm not gonna worry about corrosion or rust. I have thousands of rounds through this upper, and I've never had any signs of corrosion or rust. Just that basic, quick field cleaning procedure. Disable those salts with the 725, wipe down clean lube with extreme weapons lube, clean the bore with some bore cleaner. It's a really simple field procedure. It works really well. It doesn't take hours, doesn't take a super long time. It's not overly complex. You don't even need any special tools. I just have an old toothbrush or a dog toothbrush, some good quality lube and cleaning products. Some gloves are really helpful. Old t-shirt, bore uh, snake works really good. The other thing that I sometimes keep in my bag as well that I don't have that you've seen me use in a couple other videos is a cylinder brush. It's actually made for cleaning black powder cylinders. You can get that at the sporting goods department of Fleet Farm Stores. Well that works super slick for cleaning this gas plug. Um, the toothbrush works good though too. So that's it guys. If you have any questions please post or get a hold of us. Hope this helps out explain some of those questions on how I clean my 545 in the field. Uh, cleaning the lower isn't too much you know, too difficult because it, the, it keeps it pretty clean with the piston system, but you can go in there with a swab or a toothbrush and some lube. Really super simple on that. Thanks for watching. Whenever you shoot, make sure you always shoot safe. Wear your eye and ear protection. We look forward to uh, you checking out our other videos on our YouTube channel. Please like us. Please check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash holderarms, our webpage, holderarms.com. Have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.